today we're going to be learning where to find and how to edit the terms of service. We're going to go to your configuration um, menu from your profile picture and select configuration. Once in the main page, there's the tab for the terms of service. You have a terms of service for your employees, for your consumer, and for when you create a referral office. The terms of service, they will find it once they receive uh, the email to set up a password to activate the portal. They need to agree to the terms of service. So this is the content of each of them. Once you access one, like the CRO employee, you will see the content. Okay, you can just um, verify the content. This has variables like any other um, electronic document that we have in the system. This will pull information that's already in the system for you, like your logo, your um, company name, anything about your information. If there is a variable here, it will pull it. Okay, like name, address, zip code, state. You don't have to worry about that. Privacy policy link. That will be pulled on automatically when they if they um, when they activate the portal they can click on terms of, of service or terms of agreement it will open up this document they will be able to read it through and then agree to it so you can just go ahead and edit it edit the content make sure you click on update once you're done so that we can save the changes we have the variables here and you can, uh, if you notice, all you need to add here is your company name, that's the zero name, zero address, privacy policy link, zero contact email, and the address information. If you want to edit, you can move it over. You can just go ahead and add these variables to the content of the terms of service. Same goes for the consumer terms of service. Again, you will find the same content. If you want to add anything to it to make it different from your employees, then you can go ahead and add the content and click on update. And the same goes for the referral office. You can just go ahead and do the same thing. Read it through, make some changes if you wish to, and click on update. So that would be where to find and how to edit and make changes to your terms of service depending on the user. Mm -hmm.